Hey guys, it's Core Ross and welcome to Busting Rainbow Six Siege. Today we're going to be busting some hidden changes in Rainbow. We've also got a really cool clash tactic along with a new dance as well, amazingly. So the first myth is a revisit and this comes from Reddit. So Salat Gurk 3 and I think he's the very first person to notice this and it's that Sledge's hammer now destroys deployable cover. So I tested this long time ago and it did not work and it does now. So with Operation Grim Sky, he can now take out the deployable cover with a single blow from his hammer, whether either on the front or the back of the deployable cover. And it's a really good buff for him. I think it's a great buff, good choice, and definitely gives Sledge that little bit more utility. And another thing to say is that someone actually said that in the comments that I should test that on one of the previous Mythbusters. So I really should have. Now the next myth comes from my comment section and Isaac M said I found a new feature about Blitz, he can flash while aiming down his sights. Now I certainly haven't covered this in a Mythbusters before, so I thought, hmm, I'm going to go test this and see if this is the case, because if it is, that's kind of handy. I don't play Blitz much, but that would be useful when I'm actually playing them. And yeah, it is the case, but it's not new. I went and I searched this and I found a Reddit post from December 2016 and it showed this in action. So it's certainly not a new feature, but man, I have gone a long time without knowing that existed. Let me know if you guys knew that was a thing, but that is confirmed. So this myth was discovered by Microwave Gaming and it's a really good one because we're still finding out how to use Clash in multiple different ways because of course we've never had a shield defender. So we've never had a shield defender go up against claymores before. That's never happened. So we've already tested a bunch of stuff in previous Mythbusters, like the damage reduction and stuff like that. And you can even kill enemy players with their own claymores. But this one is even better. So you can actually jump out of a window and use your shield to protect you from the explosion. This means you can get the jump on attackers who think they're safe because they're, you know, they're usually expecting that claymore to take out a defender that jumps out on you. Whereas with Clash, you can jump out, turn to the side, face the shield that's on her back, at the claymore. Now this works even if you're crouched or standing. The big thing is though that it was very inconsistent in our testing. Sometimes it took off just 25 health, which is really good. Sometimes it took off more than 50 and we couldn't figure out why. Now we did find one counter, which was to put the claymore far more to the center of the window. So that if Clash goes out, the explosion is far more central and will do way more damage, probably killing her or downing her. But like I say, during testing, it was very inconsistent. Sometimes it was just 25 health or something that was way more than 50. So it may not be the best tactic to use, if you're, especially if you're low health. But if you've got full health and you want to try and get a good kill on an attacker, this might be a really good tactic. But anyway, that is confirmed. Now we're going to end on a bit of fun. And this is just something we found while testing. Now I'm not sure who figured this out first, but we certainly had a lot of fun with it where you kind of have this wiggle, but for some reason your character's feet both go forward, so you're kind of hovering there, which is odd. <laughs> it looks really weird, but it was hilarious. Now I'd like to say thanks to the YouTubers, the Irish Turtle, Dom and Grief Drums for helping me test all this stuff. And of course, an extra mention from Microwave Gaming for actually coming up with that tactic with the Clash and the Claymore. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.